Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part seven of working with numbers in the operators and methods unit. So now let's talk about an operator called plus equals. Uh, plus equals is a way for us to increment a variable's value without creating a new variable. Essentially, here, here's it kind of like working raw, as it were. So we have an initial variable called increment, and set it equal to 11. And then we're gonna say increment plus equals two. Now, essentially what this means, or what this actually does, is increment is equal to increment plus two. These two lines mean exactly the same thing. And the following exercises we're gonna do for plus equals, minus equals, times equals, and divides equals are all gonna be offshoots of this exact same concept. So when we hit run, we'll see that increment is now has a value of 13. Um, so okay, we we'll come back here. Let's talk about some total units. Ah, okay, and we, we have this commented out as a demonstration as well. So total units of cargo is equal to 11, and then we'll suggest that there's an additional units, two, that need to be added, and the total units of cargo is going to refer to both the value before we add the additional units and after we add the additional units. Now, it's not gonna have the same value for both cases, but that variable doesn't really change so that's why we use something like uh, total units of cargo plus equals additional units, as opposed to something like variable new total units of cargo, um, which might be what you would want to do in a different case. But for this, we're just going to keep total units of cargo as, let's call it the accumulator, or just the running total, anything along those kind of lines. And again, line four is describing what line three is doing, just more verbosely. But you want to keep in mind that line three and four do the exact same thing. So after having incremented our total units of cargo, it's now equal to 13, and it's time for a challenge. So we're going to complete a function that takes in two number parameters, base and incrementer, and returns the result of incrementing the base by the incrementer. Your function should reassign base to the result of incrementing base by incrementer using the plus equals operator, then return base. Below is an example of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, increment. You likely know the drill at this point, but for those of you for whom this is the first video you're watching, we're gonna copy the stub over to a separate coding environment so we can have some space to work. Then we'll say variable result incremented is equal to increment, call it on 11, basically our test case here. And if this returns 16, we know we've done it at least somewhat correctly. Reassign base, which is going to be base plus equals incrementer. Then we're gonna return base. So if we run this, we should see 16. We do. Let's go ahead and copy the now completed function back into the input window. Run our tests. Say what kind of shape we are in. Uh, acceptable. And thank you for watching this video. And then we'll see you in the next one. 